Hi guys, and today we're going to talk about my not so minimal productivity desk setup for 2021. Let's get into it. So let's first go over the tech of my desk. First off, we have my uh, 17 inch Levono Legion gaming laptop, 5i series, uh, 16 gigs of RAM, uh, 1.5 terabytes of hard drive space. It's an uh, Intel Core chip, i7, 10th generation. Now, maybe a little overpowered for coding, but great for gaming, and that's what matters, right? Uh, next on my lap, my desk, in terms of tech, is my uh, mouse and keyboard setup for my PC. I have both Logitech items here. So this is the Logitech uh, M150 uh, USB mouse, nice full-size mouse. And this is the multi-device Logitech K380. Uh, as you can see by these three yellow buttons, it connects with three devices. Little great little keyboard and it's a very light and portable, as you can see. Uh, next on my desk to my left is my 2020 Mac Mini M1 chip. Yes, the new Apple chip with eight gigs of RAM and 256 gigabytes of hard drive space. Now I might have shot myself in the foot of not getting the 16 gig uh, RAM version of this, but uh, anyways, I'll, I'll figure that out later <laughs> if I need to upgrade down the road. Um, next on my desk in terms of uh, tech is my uh, Magic Keyboard from Apple, the first version, and the Magic Mouse 2 from Apple. Uh, great little uh, companions with the Mac Mini, and then you don't have to worry about uh, syncing problems uh, with uh, third-party uh, devices. Um, next is my gaming monitor, my MSI 24-inch Optic 324 series gaming monitor, which is, cur which is also curved. Great for gaming, not so, maybe not so great for uh, coding because it's not so big and you can't really see uh, too much on it, but uh, may upgrade down the road. And as you can see from my, uh, let me just step back here, my wire management is obviously not the greatest. Looks like a Medusa here, but uh, hey, if it works, it works. Uh, and uh, last piece of tech that I want to talk about today is my 2017 old school Xbox controller. Great for games that require a controller, like uh, Metal Gear Solid. Um, yeah, and that that's the tech on my desk. Next, let's talk about the actual hardware on my desk. As you can see, I am using a banker box as my standing desk. Yes, that's not a joke. It's not a meme. It is a banker box that I'm using to prop up my keyboard and mouse because it's at the right height. And yes, what you see here is also a banker box lid, which the monitor is sitting because it's at the right height where I can look at the monitor and not look too high or too low. And the desk itself is a solid wood desk. I think it's oak. Don't quote me on that though. And it's about, you know, I'd say, <coughs> excuse me. 70 inches, 70 centimeters tall, and about, let's say, um, 170 centimeters wide, and let's say about 70, 70 centimeters deep as well. Um, so that's the desk. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to hide the, the garbage under the desk as well, as you can see. And when I'm tired of standing, I have my trusty dusty, um, Go fit yoga ball here, oversized yoga ball that I sit on. And uh, yeah. Hey guys, thanks for watching my not so minimal desk setup for 2021. Uh, hopefully in 2022, my desk setup will be uh, just a little better and I'll have more to show you. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed that, this video. And if you wanna know more about where I came from in terms of how I got started with Python programming, please click over here. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.